Cam Newton is now apologizing for his actions in a viral video last month during a seven on seven youth football tournament in Atlanta, Georgia, in which Cam is seen on camera fighting with two coaches that he had previously worked with. On his podcast, Cam said to every single high school player, to every single person I've influenced, to every single athlete, use my situation to understand that in one moment, in one decision, your life can change. I apologize to anybody affected. It starts with words, and it should have ended with words. I'm disappointed in myself by letting it escalate to what it did. And then with Shaq on Shaq's podcast, Cam later said, somebody is going to say something triggering to you, and it just takes one time because I could be in jail. Somebody filing a lawsuit. Yeah, to hell with the lawsuit or being in jail. We live in a world right now, especially when you're in the South. People shoot. People shoot first, matter of fact, and think second. Uh, more times than not, a lot of issues that people have, they end and with gunfire. It's straight like that. It's just the reality of the world we live in. So to hell with well, a suit or a jail. Had Cam did that with the wrong people, you know, smack talking somebody, he could end up without his life right now. And Cam Newton is a guy that's got a lot to lose, incredibly successful. I don't want to miss the bigger story in this. I believe life more times than not is about being in rooms with people who got more to lose than you do. That's it. Steph and TJ Brown of Top Shelf Performance, the hosts for this football tournament, have already apologized for their actions. You know, they were not trying to seriously harm Cam. Conversations went left and things happened. Grown men got into physical combat. That's happened before, it'll happen again. But what we need to not have happen is for the, 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 the combat to lead to something else. And I believe the love Steph and TJ have for Cam and vice versa, Cam have for them. And the fact that all these brothers are doing important stuff. They're literally at that tournament for kids. And I believe that's the bigger story. Everybody had something to lose. So nobody felt like losing their life or taking somebody's life was important enough. I think that's the bigger story. That's what I'm taking away from this one. Everybody got their own thing. I know a lot of people are going to clown Steph and TJ because of how Cam handled himself. I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say, you know what? I've been around too much. I didn't seen too much. This could have went crazy. And it didn't, thankfully. So I'm going to give the ultimate respect and credit to Cam, Steph, and TJ for all apologizing. We reported previously that they also apologized saying, yo, this should have been about the kids and the kids only, not about our egos, our wagers, our our, our sports minds, our, our previous rivals. They apologize and we moving on. Time, love, and support. Y'all let me know how y'all think Cam Newton and the brothers that were also involved in this, Steph and TJ Brown, how they handled this entire viral situation from last month. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs? when I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, Please don't go. make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture, I am Pharaoh.